Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In this video we're going to be building a quick example just to show you how to set up a ship's anti-collision system. This system is going to include four sensors um, and it's going to output to a very variation of different outputs and dials and sensors and lights and buzzers and so on and so forth. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll completely build the system up and just show you pretty much the basics on how to get the system up. Obviously you can go ahead then and change it to how you like and customize it to different features and add it on your own creation. Let's go ahead and get started. First off we have is going to be a base to build the system on. This obviously would be your own creation if you were do, adding it into your own build. So first off what we need for the system is going to be our distance sensors. Distance sensors are obviously going to measure the distance away from the object that we're trying to, we're trying to um, detect. So we'll go ahead and just add four, four of them onto the boat itself or onto our creation. One of the front, one on each side and then one at the rear. So first off, how we're going to measure that is these are going to output number inputs, obviously depending on how close or how far away the system is. Just remember that each one of these have a maximum value of only 250 meters, so you won't be able to measure anything further than 250 meters. Next off, what we need to do is obviously take that number input that it gives us and then send that through to a threshold gate. Threshold gate is going to then measure that number that we give it, and depending on what variable we set, it's going to output a on-off signal to it. So we'll just go ahead and we'll just go and place one next to each distance sensor. Once we then have an on signal coming from these, once we've got it all set up, we then obviously want to set, set it to send a signal to our indicator lights to obviously tell us that there's a, an object approaching us. Now obviously we need one for each side of these, or each one of these distance sensors. So obviously we, if we're detecting something, it's going to be in the front, then it's going to light up this and obviously on the left and so on and so forth throughout the build. Now, if we go ahead and just directly connect this, this is going to send a send a constant signal across. So it's just going to be a constant on light. However, we don't want this. We want a flashing light as if it's a warning. So we'll go ahead and use the blinker control logic block. Now, I've covered this in a previous video where it pretty much just tells you on how to use this and what it's used for. Once again, in settings, you control on how you can go ahead and control how long you want it on and how long you want it off. So now that we've got all this hooked up um, or placed down, we're going to go ahead and hook this all up. As you can see, first off, because I, I'm here in advanced mode, we need a battery to power the system. So I'm just going to go ahead and place the battery down. Once we have that placed down, we can go ahead and connect all this to the electric. Now that's hooked up, we'll go ahead and connect all our data. So first off, we're going to send a numerical value over to our threshold gate for each one of these sensors. If it then measures the number and it's found to be within that threshold that we set, or we will be going and setting, it will then send an on signal to our blinker. The blinker will then go ahead and send an on off on off on off obviously blinker motion towards the indicator light once again we can also go ahead and control how fast or how slow we want that to blink by setting the on and off for each so now that we've got all this wired up we'll go ahead and now start selecting our variables so for each one of these i want to measure anything within 50 meters so we'll go ahead and select all of them to 50 meters Once we have that taken care of, we then need to go ahead and configure our blinkers. And you can see here, we need to figure out how long we want it on and how long we want it off. You can play around your own creation to figure out how long you want it on and off for. For this purpose of the tutorial, we'll go ahead and set each one of these to be five seconds on and five seconds off. Now, once we have this all wired up and connected, we'll then go ahead now and quickly just paint this to a nice red. Obviously, just to be a warning light, you want it to be flashing. Obviously, you can change to whatever you want. Purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to change to this. One thing I am going to add is I want a little buzzer or a uh, siren in sense to go off every time it detects something within that range. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add a buzzer component to our little example here. So we'll just go ahead and place it straight down the middle. Now that component 
pretty much what happens is if it sends a, gets an on signal, it's going to buzz. Now, what we can do, an easy way of wiring this all up, is that as soon as any one of these uh, blinkers gets a signal, which has already gone through our threshold gate, we are going to want it to then go and buzz our alarm. Now, if you want it obviously the same as um, your blinker, so if you want the same rate, so 0 0.5 on, 0 0.5 off, you can go ahead and just connect it straight to the buzzer by use of using um, a all but um, a or logic block, which I'm going to use right now, as soon as I can find it, um, just over here. Now, you will need several of these because you have four inputs going to, um, four outputs going into one input. So you will need several of these, as I said just now. So we're just gonna go place three of them down just over here. Now, you're probably wondering why have I got three, because I only have four, four blocks, and you'll see right now. So we want that same on off signal to go from each of these blinkers to our ores and then we'll have to go ahead and connect these two up hence the reason why I've got the third extra one and then the last one is going to go across to our buzzer now you can go ahead and select your buzzer and as you can see here it has different warnings and so you can go ahead and choose the different warnings whatever you want I'm going to go ahead and use beep one you can also change the volume you can also then change the pitch of the voice or the volume itself um, of the noise and then you can also preview it here I'm going to go ahead just for the tutorial and use the solid beep here, which I like. And then we're going to go ahead into the system now, spawn it, and test to see if it works. So now we have it all spawned and ready to go. As you can see here, because we're inside the hangar, it's detecting that there is something on the left and something on the right. However, it's not detecting anything in the rear because we're over 50 meters to that wall. And because we're facing that way, it's not detecting in the front of the system. Now, with that system all running, you can see here now, if I was to go ahead and let's go and pick up one of these blocks and see if we can get the front or rear one to detect that it's got something in front of it. So we'll go ahead and place that down. And now you can see the front one is also detecting that there's something in front of it. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not going to talk anymore. That pretty much gives you a brief understanding on how to set up a quick uh, collision warning system in your boat uh, with use of indicator lights and also of an alarm system. You can obviously go ahead and customize that to how you want. As always, the purpose of the tutorial, guys, is not to show you the best way to do it or to show you how I would personally do it in my own build. However, just to give you a brief understanding and knowledge to go ahead and use this in your own creation. As always, I hope you've enjoyed it and found it somewhat informative. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and catch me in the next video.